we get to talk about Enneagram 9s. Whatever you guys want to do. What? Did you say something? I was thinking about a dream I had. It's really raining. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Enneagram 9s, AKA the Peacemaker. If you don't know what the Enneagram is, I've made a quick and simple beginner's guide to the Enneagram and linked it in a card right here. I'm Abby Howe, and I'm here to help you discover you. For more videos about the Enneagram and personality types, make sure to subscribe to this channel for new videos every Sunday. Now it's Enneagram 9 time. I have a couple of Enneagram 9s in my life, and let me tell you, they are the perfect type of person to sit down, have a hot cup of tea, and just talk about life. At their best, healthy nines are selfless, inclusive, and flexible. They long to know that their presence matters, and they really want to have inner stability and peace. They are natural mediators with a unique ability to harmonize others with seemingly impossible differences. That said, there are also some very annoying things about the Enneagram 9. So in this video, I'm going to share with you seven annoying things things that Enneagram 9s do and say. But keep in mind, this is all in good fun. I just want to explore the Enneagram in a funny, lighthearted way. Number one, the Enneagram 9's basic fear is being in conflict. They don't want to feel overlooked, they don't want to be left out, and they desperately don't want to lose relationships, so they'll try to avoid conflict as much as possible. Oh, my almonds are gone. Oh yeah, I shared them with my writing group yesterday when they came over. Sorry I didn't ask you, I just figured you wouldn't mind. That's okay, I'll just go buy more. I, I figured it was fine because they were just out on the counter, so it was kind of like, fair game, <laughs> buy almonds. You know? Of course, we're roommates, so what's mine is yours. Number two, unhealthy nines can self forget. Now, what does this mean? Well, nines can avoid conflict by neglecting their soul. This means that they can lessen their feelings, opinions, and priorities in order to lessen their impact on other people. Where do you wanna be in five years? Wherever you wanna be. Oh, I'm just wondering where you wanna be. Like, what are your dreams? Well, I had a dream last night that I was talking to a talking goat, so. That was pretty cool. No, like what are your hopes and dreams for your personal life? Like what what do you what do you want? What do you think about the world? I think that whatever you think is a great thing. Tell me, just tell me. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know myself at all. Number 3. Of all the Enneagram types, average nines have the least amount of stamina. This means that they often suffer from project burnout. Anxiety can take over for a nine as they tirelessly try to protect their inner peace from the world. And this can become kind of so overwhelming that, that they just can't finish projects. Number four, nines have trouble making decisions. The task of decision making can become really overwhelming because they're torn between wanting to please themselves and wanting to please others. Do I take this book for me or, or do I leave it so someone else can read it? No, I really want to read it. I've been waiting all year to read this book. I'm going to take the book. I can't take the book. I have to leave it. This is just, just I can't take the book. I'm going to take the book. Number five. An Enneagram 9's core weakness is sloth, but this does not mean physical laziness. I know that you're thinking about a really cute sloth slowly climbing up a tree. No, that is not, that is not the Enneagram 9's weakness, um, this cute little sloth. Uh, it's more of a spiritual slothfulness, if you will. Nines can fall asleep to their passions, their needs, and their self-worth in order to keep the peace with the people around them. Are you coming to the march today? You know, I really don't want to offend anybody. It's a peaceful march. It, it's the march for the hedgehogs. Yeah, but it, it's making a statement and... Honestly, it just sounds a little too stressful, so I think I'm just gonna stay home. Number six, if you're close with a nine, you've probably experienced this more negative aspect of an Enneagram nine's personality, and that would be passive aggressiveness. Nines have lots of unresolved anger, but they're afraid to let it out because it might cause conflict, it might cause a break in a relationship, so they stuff it down, but we all know what happens when you stuff stuff down it comes out, it comes out as passive aggressiveness. Hey, I picked up the dry cleaning. Better late than never. Sorry I didn't get it sooner, I just kept forgetting. It's fine, 
I just have to remember you can only handle one chore per week. Is something wrong? I can't imagine what you mean. I just need to finish Swiffering the floors and then I need to bleach the sink and then I need to clean the shower and then I have to pick the kids up from school and then I need to make a bunch of jam. Number seven. In the workplace, nines can let themselves be taken advantage of. They say yes to too much, sell themselves short, and avoid rocking the boat at all costs. This means that they are often overworked and undervalued. Are you kidding me? Sarah got promoted over you? But it's okay, at least this way I don't have to hire or fire anybody. Yeah, but didn't you like train and mentor her? Like you taught her everything you know. She must be just smarter than me. You know, she learned pretty quick when I was training her. Weren't you the one who recruited her? Yeah, but they need me where I am. I mean, I do more in this position than anyone else has ever done. And you get paid less. If you're an Enneagram 9, did these resonate with you? Let me know in the comments down below. I am making new Enneagram videos and personality videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, you know, have a lovely, lovely day.